Ah, let's have it. You are. Forget the Pegaga man. Fancy, man. That's a guba, a guba. When Bong Nigger Sanche, my bird was in drama. Banna, Banna. Let them kiss and oh, who let them kiss and I get Siba. Hey, 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 Cabasella, Cabasella, Siba. Hey, you got this. Hey, you must respect me, man. Move soon, Z. A Tanda. The bank is in the bank. The account number is one. So, Munan, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, that was Ubab Chawe from Amazon Residencies. He is asking for your help, even if it is as little as 10 rands. He says that sometimes he even struggles to go to a clinic to fetch his treatment. So, if you can, please, please assist him, even if it is as little as 10 rands. As far as he's concerned, Ubab and Gossiam. Now, actress Sophie Ndaba has unfortunately lost her home in Johannesburg after she failed to pay her bond and her house was unfortunately sold. Now Ndaba, who has been battling with diabetes for several years, lost the house she bought for over 2.2 million. Now this was after she struggled to keep up with her monthly installments. Now the heartbreaking news came after um, the bank was granted judgment against Sophie. Now, this was after she failed to pay the bank over 1 million shortfall from the proceeds of the sale of her home. Now, the banking group is also likely to go after her other assets. Now, according to Sunday World, the judgment handed down by Judge Senyate on September 7 reads in part, Having heard counsel and having considered the papers filed in the matter, the following order is made against the first and second respondents. Now, according to court documents, Sophie Ndaba and her company, Sofla Trading, who were cited as the first and second respondents, respectively obtained a 2.2 million home loan from the bank to purchase the house on September 15, 2016. Now, they were required to pay 22000 347 in monthly installments for 240 months but the former Isidingo actress failed to honor the contract when she defaulted and was more than 80,000 in errors. Now, on February 12, 2019, the banking group instructed its lawyers to write a letter to Ndaba and inform her that she has breached the contract when she failed to settle the errors. The lawyer sent another letter on March 5, 2019, telling her that the banking group was cancelling the agreement. Now, the banking group cancelled the agreement a year later on March 5, 2020. Now, after Ndaba ignored its repeated attempts to get her to Cycle the errors. Now they have some zansi. Do let me know, guys, what you think in the comment section down below.